my daily beat, my daily beat, my daily beat. My daily beats. Because they happen daily. <laughs> Listen, I could not believe this when I first saw it. A school district in Richland, Washington is banning something they say is really, really dangerous to kids. Swing sets. <laughs> what? Apparently, school officials were getting pressure from their insurance company because the swings were causing injuries. Not from anybody swinging, but from kids walking in front of them and behind them. <laughs> Truth be told, we have all gotten taken out by some swings before. <laughs> I have, and I've taken a few people out. Um, but that's the swing set's fault? I mean, how about don't walk in front of a kid on a swing set? Gosh. Come on. It's a swing set. Let's face it. Uh, everything on a playground can be dangerous. Like, check out this spiny thing right here. Let's bring it! <laughs> Good times. Good times. <laughs> And how about this seemingly innocent kitty fire pole? Ha, ha, ha. Oh, my goodness. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that sweet baby, I'll kiss you face. Oh, my goodness. So it really seems like you should probably have sand in the playground. It seems like <laughs> all the kids who landed on the sand were OK. Well, some people see these as accidents, but maybe they're just life lessons. I don't really have any good playground stories to, to share that I haven't shared with you already, because you don't want to hear about those crazy things. But listen, I do want kids to be safe, but I also like kids to be kids. I mean, they should be allowed to have fun. It's a playground. You play, you hit the ground. It's just part of a, <laughs> being a kid, you know, growing up. That's why we're much more malleable back then in those days, back when I used to be a kid. OK, my next beat. My next beat. My We've all seen those. I don't know why I need to do that, but I do. It does something for my spirit. Um, we've all seen those videos of loud, crazy parents at sporting events. I think I see some of them in here right now. I saw you on YouTube. Uh-huh. Uh, like this, this parent here. understand a word he said, but he, he was saying what he was saying. Go get up! Get up! His body jerked. He was into it. <laughs> Calm down, man. They're seven-year-olds. Let's see. Um, who's seen this in person? Come on, you've seen parents like this in person. Some of you may be that parent. We had Boris Kojo on uh, uh, not too long ago, and he was saying that he really, yes, the hot and sexy Boris Kojo, that one. <laughs> Uh, but he was saying he really gets into the games like that, so I get it. But now there's a way to keep parents in check. It's called silent soccer. Have you heard of it? I <laughs> know, she bust out laughing. Well, it's starting to pop up all around the country. Here's some rules for parents um, in the stands at silent soccer. No sideline shouting, no screaming, and no negative comments. Clapping is okay, but no whistling or other noisemakers. <sighs> but some parents think the rules are just too severe. Uh, so I brought an expert here to help us understand the silent sideline. Please welcome youth coach and lawyer Jeff Wells to the show. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hi, <laughs> How are you? Jeff. Thank you for coming here today to talk sure. about this because, you know, things do uh, take catch on around the country. So what do you think about this silent soccer? Well, I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, my own son, I, I was a coach and a dad during youth soccer. My son's now a college baseball player. But that's back not then, you in the video, Jeff. No, that's not me in the video. We did blur the face. <laughs> but I've seen plenty. Every team has one of those parents, at least one on it. Right. And it is humiliating to the kids. 
Uh, some kids will just quit as mm -hmm. a result of it. Some kids will go and tell their parents to please shut up. Yeah, what effect does, does the shouting uh, and screaming kind of have it's, on uh, It's terrible on them. It really is. And uh, my son played. We did a silent weekend. We tried a weekend. And my son came up to me after that and said, that's the most fun I've ever had playing soccer, ever. It's a difficult thing to do because sports, you get so impassioned. Yeah. You get so excited about it. And a, a lot of parents, though, truth be told, you know, are living through the kids. What's a healthy way for parents to, if it's not silent soccer, if you can make some noise sure. on the sidelines, what is a, a healthy way for an enthusiastic, supportive parent to, to really show that? Here's a pretty simple rule. Let the coaches coach, let the players play, and let the parents support the team. That's right. So you saying when my coach threw that chair across the court back right. in high school? That's it. And what I, I found is... it was is, normal. Look, was it is a normal. And there are parents that will do that. They'll throw things. They'll mm -hmm. berate their kids in the car. I've seen all of it. It's terrible. Those kids will end up quitting playing sports. Right. They'll well, lose what they should get. And what I'd say is support the team. Ask the child, how did the team do? How did, right. can the team be better? Don't ask about how did you do. Ask mm -hmm. how the team did. Support the team. Make a banner. Cheer for the team. It's a team sport, after all. Does that make sense? <laughs> it makes sense to me. It is a team sport. That's what I learned most about playing sport was how to play as a team, how to get along with the others, and how to really go hard in a healthy way. All right. Thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate that. Silent soccer. Just chill. Let the kids be kids.